Hi guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the different ways to show division. Different ways that you might see division problems written that mean that you still need to divide. Let's go ahead and get started. In our first example, we're just going to be working with the sign, and this is one that you are probably already really, really familiar with. We're going to be using the example today, 50 divided by 5. And this word here is the sign. It's one that you're already familiar with. This is our little division sign. So all of that means, all that means is that we just need to carry out our division. 50 divided by 5 gives us 10. All right, that's the sign. In our next one, we're going to be talking about the box. And I'm just going to write our problem up here that we wrote in our last one, just so that we can remember what it is, so you can see the difference as we go along. The box, you've probably seen already too, it is our division box. I like to call this the den. This is the den. A den is like a house. It's where you live. It's where like an animal lives. And we have a divisor, a dividend, and the quotient. And so here, the dividend is going to live on the inside. So this is the dividend. And it lives inside the den, okay? And then we have the divisor. And then we have the quotient. The quotient is the answer to our division problem. So if we were to write a division problem using the box method, what we would do, I'm going to switch my pen back here, is we would go, our little box, 50, that's going to be our dividend. It's going to live inside the den, divided by 5. That's our divisor, 5 is the divisor, and our quotient is 10. So that's the box method. The next one is called the bar, and one of the things about division problems is they're just, uh, they're fractions that um, is just undone division. So in this case, let's recall our problem here, 50 divided by 5 is 10. And so we might see a problem that's written like this. Notice how this is the bar in the middle, and this just looks like a regular fraction, 50 over 5. In this case, it's an improper fraction, but when we see this, we know what we just have to divide. So 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. The next one is the slash. This can also be used in a sense with fractions, but it might look something like this. Let me just redraw our problem up here. 50 divided by 5 is 10. And in this case, we might see something written like this. A slash and a 5. So we can read this like a fraction as well, too. Sometimes you see fractions written this way. But a fraction is just undone division. So in this case, 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. The next one is the word, and this one you're probably already really familiar with as well, too. And in this case, all we're going to say is 50 divided by 5. So we know that we're going to use division, and 50 divided by 5 is equal to 10. Now, you might also see some other situations where they're going to ask you, uh, words, and you might see something like the quotient, and the quotient is just the answer, so once again we would do 50 divided by 5, which would give us 10. Alright, that's all. I hope this helped you. We'll see you later.